Hello, YouTubers. It's great to see you again. We appreciate you tuning in. Get ready for today's feature car. But it's a truck. But not just any truck. It's Marty McFly's truck from Back to the Future. Or at least it's an extremely well done replica. You'll see for yourself. Because Back to the Future was released over 35 years ago, it's had plenty of time to become a cult classic. And it certainly is that. Dedicated Toyota fan Sean has several other Toyotas in his stable because they're reliable vehicles. But because he's always been a fan of the movie since its debut, this tribute truck is extra special. I'll let the truck owners tell you all about his really cool replica truck. Now, let's go for a ride. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm the owner of the uh, 1985 Toyota 4x4 truck. It's been built to look like uh, Marty's truck from Back to the Future. Uh, I bought it uh, about a year and a half, maybe uh, or so ago. It was pretty much done. Uh, funny story behind that is I've always liked that truck. Uh, the reason I liked it is because I was eight years old when Back to the Future came out. I liked trucks back then already, and when I saw that truck in the movie, I absolutely loved it. I loved it to the point that uh, I have a 2000 Tacoma that I've owned since new, the only vehicle I've ever owned since new out of the roughly 12 I've ever owned. And uh, I had a couple other cars and I just figured I'd never own that truck. So I started to try to make my 2000 Tacoma look like it. So then back in October of 2019, my buddy who we send each other interesting cars that are for sale or whatever on the internet, he sent me that never thinking I was gonna buy it. just. Hey, look at this, nearly perfect. He's um, part owner of, of a couple of dealerships here and it was actually at a dealership over in that area. And uh, I went out Friday and looked at it. That was Friday the 25th of October. And I went with my dad and we took, the, took it for a test drove. It, 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 test drove, totally nice. Uh, I liked the way it looked for the most part. It had a couple things I wanted to kind of tweak. Um, I fell in love with it and uh, I essentially traded my dad one of my truck or one of my vehicles for the truck and I uh, let one of my other vehicles go and I didn't even realize it the owner who was selling it to me he was a big back to the future guy had actually some sl some sleeve tattoos of back to the future stuff and he said he was currently making room for other things including a DeLorean that was being built to look like the back to the future vehicle He's the one that pointed out to me that um, it was October 25th, which was the day Marty saw the truck for the first time in the movie. Um, and then the next day, when he actually gets the truck after he's gone back in time, is October 26th, which is also when I got the truck. I made the deal with him on, on Friday, and I went back the next day on Saturday, the 26th. And in the movie, it is Friday, October 25th, and then Saturday, October 26th, when he sees the truck in his garage. So it, it was almost like it was serendipity that I, I got the truck. Um, I mean, I've always wanted it. I didn't go looking for it. It kind of found me. It was um, found in California. It supposedly, I think at the time when I bought it, had 83,000 miles on it. We believe it's original. Um, right now, I think it sits at about 86. I've put about 3,000 on it. Um, the few things I had to do to it were mostly tweaks. Only a couple of them uh, were mechanical. The back of it was kind of sagging a little bit, which is kind of common with Toyotas. So I went and got the, uh, the springs re-arced, and that kind of fixed the way it sits. That's what I really wanted. And then some of the uh, the like light, light covers on the front and on the bed bars, those weren't completely correct. Which I had a buddy who has a sticker business, and he was able to kind of make me something that was a little more correct. They're still not 100%, but they're right. And then those trucks have always been popular as far as uh, for people to steal them. So I put a I put a kill switch on it. Other than that, um, just a few little tweaks here and there, mostly with stickers. Um, I I put the Statler Toyota sticker on the back, a couple others to personalize it, make it more mine. For future, I, I really only have a couple things. It's an automatic, which kills me. Probably makes the truck more rare, um, but I would like to try to get it 
is a five speed. I will keep the uh, transmission just in case I ever get rid of it, which I do not plan on doing. Um, but I'd like to make it a five speed. The front bumpers, uh, the two bumper systems, a little bit off. Um, they don't come around the, the edges as far as I'd like them to and as far as they should. Like the, So I'd like to maybe fix that a little bit. It bothers me. It's something most people wouldn't notice, but uh, bothers me. So maybe that one day. And then the interior is nice, but it's not completely to my liking. I'd like to go more gray and uh, maybe a little bit more leather or uh, less cloth like the, the last guy did. But... Um, he did find a really good truck to build off. It was tan. He had pictures of it the way it was. And he built it, for the most part, pretty pretty spot on. So I've been really happy with the truck. It only gets driven about once a week. I take it to some car shows. Um, and it's not fast, but it is fun to drive. Yeah, but it's the iconic 22R that will go for pretty much ever. I mean, my favorite part about it is just the looks. I mean, uh, when, when I walk out into my garage and I see it it just it, it looks great um, and it's kind of it, it still kind of blows my mind that I own it because I wanted to own it since I was eight years old and uh, I, know, I was 41 when I, when I bought it so um, it took a lot of years to get it it's nice to have it I get quite a few looks um, when I'm out on about um, but it seems about half and half some people know it right away is oh that's the back to the future truck and then other people are like, "Well, that's a new. That's a, that's a really nice pickup." Um, and then sometimes they'll go, eh, "It kind of reminds me of the Back to the Future truck." <laughs> so then it kind of sticks a little. And then some people are just like, "Wow, it's a nice pickup." I don't know if they ever even correlated it at all. It definitely, it's it's a cool truck to begin with, but with that little tidbit in the movie, it makes it that much better. Thanks for watching this episode of If This Car Could Talk. It's always fun making another video for you guys, especially with a super accommodating owner, a cool truck, and a stunning backdrop for the photos. Plus, it's a great story, wouldn't you agree? Tell us in the comments what you think and what your favorite part of the movie is. Plus, be sure to like and share this video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We can always use more subscribers and it ensures that you'll never miss a video that we put out there. We appreciate everyone's support and encouragement. Next week we're featuring a really hot long roof wagon. It's a 1983 Ford LTD based on the Fox body platform with all the Fox performance enhancements. Trust me, you'll love this one. Till then, be safe out there.